Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet. On this channel, we do go over all things fragrance. We talk about perfume houses, dupes, clones, originals, niche and designer fragrances, perfume oils, and layering combos. So if that is something that you're interested in, then go ahead and hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified to new videos. I do like to focus on at least one perfume house or perfume topic at a time and then uh, usually introduce it on Sunday and then go through the whole week and I'll make a little series about the perfume house so that we can take a deep dive and really get to know it and at least based on my experiences and reviews and then you could make a better informed decision for yourself on what to try, you know, from these different options that there are out there. There are so many different perfume houses and, and dupes and clones out there. And um, I, you know, have just been going out there and exploring them. And I thought, oh, what, what not a better thing to do than to throw out my suggestions and experiences um, here with you guys on this channel. So... If you're interested in that, then continue watching because today we are delving into the world of Oksha. So if you have not heard of Oksha, this is the sister company to something that I have <laughs> really collected. So you see this little carousel right here and I have a lot more down here. All of these are from Oksha's sister company, Oil Perfumery. This is Santal Blush. So what they do, so oilperfumery.com, I love perfume oils, I really do. I got a hold of a whole lot of them during Black Friday. And um, so this company is their sister company and what they do is they specialize in dupes or inspirations of original fragrances as well, but in the spray form. They come in these really, uh, well this is their symbol and they're, they come in these black bottles. I am noticing that they only offer 30 mls, so you'll get a bottle of perfume and, um, you know, whereas I think this is a 50 ml, it's only 30 mls. That's the only option that I see on the site for all of their perfumes, okay? Um, and they range from anywhere on sale, they, they, they range from about $29.95, I saw one for $29.95, up to $49.95 for these 30 mls of perfume, okay? So just throwing that out there. Um, this is their sample, sample discovery set and it comes with seven of their best sellers. So I would really like to check that out. Um, this one comes with Rue, which is the Santal 33 dupe, uh, Crazy Good, Tom Ford's effing fabulous, uh, Sweeven, Sweeven, if that's how you say it, Baccarat Rouge 540 dupe, and that was usually on sale for $39.95 I've, I've seen. Blue Stallion uh, by Maiden, um, I believe it's called The Spirit of Dubai, I have not gotten into that house. Uh, Torrid Day, which is Tobacco Vanille, and by Tom Ford, and then Sweet Addict, My Precious Love Don't Be Shy, I love Love Don't Be Shy, uh, by Killian. And then um, they have original fragrances. I think I saw three on the site. And one of them is called Sorcery. Um, and that one's in here as well. Okay, so here's the thing. If you're anything like me at all. One, I love gourmands. At that, that's where I, I navigate towards. Two, a <laughs> couple of fun facts about me. I hate dabbers. Three, I love longevity. I love a good sillage, you know, or at least not for anyone else, but for myself. I love scent bubbles. If I'm wearing a fragrance, I want it to, I want to enjoy it fully. I want it to encompass me. I want it just to be floating around the air and, and you know, um, it's okay if it sticks close to you, but at least that you can get wafts of it from your hair, you know, throughout the day. I love that. I love that about a perfume. And I love when perfumes give that to me without without me having to work for it so hard. Just saying. <laughs> so um, I want to see if these are up for that challenge because, you know, 
three four hundred dollars for one bottle of perfume um you know for example love don't be shy runs i think it's up to 250 dollars for 50 mls and that that's a pretty penny and it's a beautiful gorgeous fragrance so um this is you know one of the houses that has dupes for it um called sweet addict love don't be shy so we're gonna this is what i did I'm going to show y'all how to do it. If you are on the x -nay, on the Dabber A train with me, <laughs> I can't stand them. There's so many reasons. Let me give you the first reason. We'll start with Sweet Addict and I'll show you that sorcery. I'll, I'll show you. Why, why do I have to pick it? Because, because I'm going to get it all over my hands and I'd rather get Sweet Addict. Oh, I just got that one. <laughs> I don't know where it's at, you guys. Okay, Sweet Addict. Yes. Okay. I'm probably going to get it all over my hands. <sighs> so I hate dabbers. They're, I don't know why they exist. It's, they're ridiculous. I mean, what? Que les cuesta in Spanish, which means, oh, what does it mean in English? I can't even translate that. Uh, what would it have cost, you know, for them to put a little sprayer on this 2ml sample? I just, I don't, and, and I'm sorry, Oksha, <laughs> if you don't agree with that. So many companies sell samples in dabbers they're not the only ones i'm not going to discriminate however i'm going to fix the situation for myself so that i can enjoy and explore the fragrances the way that i want <laughs> so i love to spray a fragrance if it's in perfume oil i don't mind rolling that sucker on but if it is a fragrance that is meant to be sprayed i want to spray it i want to experience the top notes the mid notes and the dry down i want to see how it develops on my skin i just that is how i want to enjoy my eau de perfumes right in spray form so here's your dabber and this is called sweet addict and First of all, I don't know who's ever like, and I'm trying here, you guys, who's ever, if anybody has an amazing technique for these, gosh, let me know, you know, link the YouTube video where somebody shows us how to open these eloquently. Cause I definitely, I have gone like this and then perfume everywhere. I've done that, which if this was full right now, I probably would be doing that. So I'm going to get my shirt <laughs> and I'm just going to try to open that. You see? Do you see what I'm talking about? These are first world problems, but they're real. <laughs> okay, so I can't open this and I don't want to ruin my brand new manicure. Do you see that? Beautiful manicure. Ugh. Okay, so I, uh, the way that I open this right now, actually, gosh, is uh, I got scissors and I opened it. If anybody's ever tried these, how did y'all fare? <laughs> I'm not faring very well. I need scissors. <sighs> okay, let me not waste time on trying to open that one because I actually do want to show you guys what I've been doing with them. So here's what I've been doing. I'm like all disappointed I can't open it. So this is your Oksha Sweet Addict. I opened it with scissors over there and I and I put it in this little sprayer vial. You can purchase these on Amazon. They come in like, I don't know, I think the, the lesser pack that I found was like 20 of them, but they're not expensive. These are made of plastic. You can also find them in glass right here. And these, these unscrew like so. Very, very nice. Somebody's yelling over there. <laughs> I wonder if Tom Brady did something exciting. He's, uh, they're losing right now. And I mean, the Cowboys are out. I really don't care. Why am I smelling this? There's absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> You guys, this is driving me insane. Okay, so this is Rue by Oksha. And this is what I have done. I have labeled my Rue already. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pour that in there. Some vials are really, really thin. Here's one. Here's one example. We're going to get into this house too. It's called Poesy. Poesy. It is um, vegan and cruelty free. This one's called Tiny Phantom. They have beautiful oil fragrances, and I'm just gonna get my little my little dabber here. They sell these on Amazon as well for a hundred of them for like seven ninety nine or so. Now that I would need my little my little dabber oil thingy here, my little dropper. This one, however, has a very wide neck, so I actually didn't need these two. I had already done two of them, and then I realized that I could just pour it right in there. <laughs> So, um, yeah, you can get your little dropper and then 
re, you know, pour it in there. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna open this one. Ah! You see? <laughs> I hate them. I hate them with a the passion. Okay, so I've already got that everywhere. Here's what I'm gonna do to my little to my little vial. I'm gonna pour it on in here. You see that? So now it's completely empty. You cannot do that with the smaller vials that don't have a white neck because they're literally droplets that come out. You'll be there all day. Um, and then I'm gonna cover it here. I've gotten this in my eyes before. Okay, good. So we're done. We have our little sprayer of, you know, our sample or decant. This is called a decant of Oaksha Rue. Yay, so now this thing, I'm just gonna put it back in the little sampler pack. And so if that is something that you would like to do to experience your fragrance, then by all means, go ahead. Also, if you just also cannot stand roller balls, do I have a roller ball? You can do that to those as well. You can open the, you can get scissors and open the roller ball. I think this is the only roller ball I own right now. If it even is a roller, no, it's a spray. Uh, I can't show you guys right now, but you can take off that roller ball. I promise you. No, this is a spray as well. I love sprayers. You can uh, take off the roller ball, like so. This is a roller ball oil, though. Um, I would love to do a video where I show you guys how to turn your perfume oils into the perfumes as soon as I get my research done and the time to do it I'll definitely be showing you guys how to do that um, look so this is how much oil I have left of the Santal 33 from oil perfumery but I love to do the oils I love the concentration I don't mind rolling these on because they're oils um, however you can't really get them on your clothes too well um, you don't want to be rubbing oils all over your clothes especially if they're a dark color um, but you can open those, put them in the little in the little vials, and then put some a mixing agent um, that you can buy on Amazon as well. Um, usually uh, some alcohol or something like that, and then you can spray away. Okay, so that was that. I really wanted to show you guys how I got these. First of all, that they are coming from here because look, these are empty. They're coming from here, so we are reviewing this week the Oksha uh, samples. So I already went over what we have. We have Rue. Okay, let me show you guys. So we have Oksha Sweet Addict, uh, which is the Love Don't Be Shy. And I cannot wait to break this down um, and see how it goes for for each of these fragrances. We're, you know, this week, every day this week, we will choose one fragrance and we will just break down the notes, uh, show you guys uh, how I'm gonna wear it. Um, you know, for four of these, I have amazing lotions that I use from FNK Scentology. I have my Love Don't Be Shy lotion. I have my Baccarat Rouge lotion. So I'll do this one on one side. And then on the other side, we'll do just regular CeraVe non-scented lotion. And we'll see which, if, if this one gives me more longevity than the, than the one, the side with not, with non-lotion. Um, so we have the the only original that we have by Oksha is the Oksha Sorcery, which I already said. So this has sweet notes of vanilla and almond uh, with, what else? With um, bright floral mix, tropical flowers, and Indian rose with a warm undertone of amber. So they have like three of them that are original as well. And this comes in their sample pack. So their sample pack is like, $14.99 it comes with the seven samples and I've seen it's always sold out um, because you buy the sample pack for $14.99 then you know you sample them and you decide which full bottle you want to purchase and they give you the a code for $15 off of that full bottle purchase which is really nice that's a good deal if you really do fall in love with one of their scents um, so yeah, for today, one, two, three, four, five, six. We do have six. I kind of wanted to do the the Oksha Sorcery. Um, we have 
we have so many we have six <laughs> uh tomorrow we'll do the love don't be shy but we'll follow up on this o oksha sorcery okay um so really i just kind of wanted to introduce the sample pack to you guys I don't want to get my nose confused and on every single scent. I am familiar with, uh, you know, four scents out of all of these. I'm not familiar with Made On by the Spirit of Dubai, but I'll read up on it and I'll go over notes with you guys this week. And also, um, which one was it? And of course, the Sorcery. I've never tried that. So that's what I want to try. I'm looking for my Cerave. So I'm going to go in with my Cerave. And these are sweet notes of vanilla and almond. Yeah, with a bright floral mix of tropical flowers. Oh, that reminds me. I need to follow you guys up on yesterday's wearing. I wore holidays with mango mai tai from Bath and Body Works. And this beautiful Dolce & Gabbana shine, which has the mango in the top notes. That sucker lasted. It lasted all day long. It lasted, you know beautifully it projected nicely my little girl um agreed with the scent profile she loved it she's like which one are you wearing she really really liked it so that's a that combo was a hit okay like a hit hit she really liked it um tomorrow we'll follow you guys up on this uh sorcery and see if it goes any kind of distance what's it smelling like Oh my gosh, it smells like something I've smelled before. It's probably the rose. It's smelling like something I have smelled before. For sure. Okay, I was expecting the vanilla and the almond, but this floral mix with the Indian rose, let me tell y'all, it's giving me... It's giving me oud, sad, and mood vibes. Kind of. Not really. It's missing the oud. Wow, but that smells good. Okay, what does it smell like then? My gosh, I don't know. It smells like something. It, But it's nice. Oh, maybe it smells like Muse. Maybe it smells like Zerjoff Muse. What does sorcery smell like? It's an original though. I just want to spray it somewhere. No, not really. <laughs> I will investigate. Because that's going to drive me wild. I know I have smelled this before. Okay. I'll investigate. I have definitely smelled this before. It's actually really nice. I don't get the almond though. I am just getting those. I'm getting that rose. I'm getting that warmness straight away. It didn't open up with any of the vanilla or the almond. <laughs> so um, yeah, tune in the rest of the week because we will be focusing on uh, this wonderful perfume house, Oksha, that brings you, um, sorry, I'm like, where did it go? Mmm, Zerdoff Muse. This is reminding me of something and I cannot put my finger on it. And it's going to drive me wild until I find it. It's also reminding me of... I'm not sure. <laughs> okay, I'll get back to you guys on that. You guys have a, rest, a great rest of your Sunday. Mmm, alright. Yeah, we'll be here forever if we decide to spray them all. <laughs> So, uh, probably going to be wearing the, uh, not the Sweden, the Sweet Addict, the Love Don't Be Shy, and um, and we'll follow you guys up on this uh, Oksha Sorcery. It's smelling nice. I know I've smelled it before, though. Maybe Good Girl, no, Good Girl or Black Opium. Why is so Black, Black Opium? Does Black where did I just spray that? <laughs> Does black opium have rose? Oh gosh, I don't know where I just sprayed that. Okay. Thank you guys. We'll see y'all later. Smelling really nice. Bye-bye.